Well, hello everybody. I'm Lena from the Amos Junior um, Communication Group. And I'm here with Isabella, one of the spokesperson of Thermos Junior. And uh, yeah, today we would like to talk a little bit about the new survey uh, conducted in 2019. And uh, yes, I would just ask Isabella a few questions about the survey and the outcome of the survey. So Isabella, as the first question, what do you think um, or what would you say is it like to be a doctoral researcher at, uh, at the Helmholtz Center? Well, uh, this largely depends on which handhold center we're talking about because each center is its own legal entity. So uh, just starting from the fact that there are many topics being researched in each center. There's also a variety of uh, working conditions, salaries, disciplines, infrastructure, and uh, for example, if there's uh, or not a graduate school. So um, I would just say that generally doctoral researchers are very satisfied uh, overall. Um, with their PhD at the Helmholtz Center. And um, one thing in common is that all doctoral researchers um, in Helmholtz are represented by the Helmholtz Juniors. And we represent directly to uh, the president of the Helmholtz Association, which is Professor Dr. Wiesler, and also uh, the representation to the public. And together with the Helmholtz Juniors and uh, with the Leibniz uh, PhD Network and the Max Planck PhD Net, uh, we form uh, N-Square which is the network of uh, doctoral researcher networks and uh, then we have a like a larger body of representation of doctoral researchers. Okay, thank you Isabella. So um, next question, according to the survey, what would you say does diversity mean or also how diverse are the doctoral researchers in the Hamels Association? Okay, so um, first regarding research, um, it's quite diverse in Hamels, so we, we have pretty much everything ranging from uh, medicine to heavy particle physics. So um, you can really find biology, geology, yeah. And then uh, the survey was conducted in 16 of these 19 centers uh, uh, in the association. And for example, regarding diversity in gender, uh, there is a equal part of, of men and women and small percentage of people that didn't identify with these two genders. And regarding citizenship, there's around 40% of doctoral researchers uh, that are international. So either uh, from the European Union, but outside Germany, or either um, outside the European Union. Okay, thanks. So regarding the salary, what is the average salary of a doctoral researcher in the Hamas Association? Well, now it's a bit tricky because um, a PhD is considered still like a, a phase of education and training, so it's not paid fully. And so it's, there are many possibilities regarding further education and supervision, and it really depends on, on each center. And so the, the payment also depends on the center policies and the funding agencies that uh, uh, are considered a third party funding. And also if there are some industry partners um, financing this PhD. And from the survey, we got the, the following data that is that, um, most salaries lie within the range of 1,500 and 1,900 euro per month. Uh, this is after taxes, so it's what the, the doctoral researcher would get in the bank account. And we didn't found any different significances between genders. Okay, thanks. Good, Isabella, thank you for all this uh, interesting information. As a last question, it, uh, it would be a personal question. So. Um, yeah, what would you say? How did you become a Hindu, a Hermos Junior? Uh, well, I think it started uh, maybe October last year. Where I wanted to be part of the of the council in my center, which is the the CAC set in Heidelberg. And the the people that were part of the council, two of them were also uh, Hermos Juniors, and they were very enthusiastic about this. And they, the way they they sell it to me is that they said it's it's a way of really making an impact and, and trying to um, improve the situation of doctoral researchers in a way that it's maybe not so noticeable sometimes because I think most of our work happens like behind the scenes and actually not many people know what we do but I really like that the, the idea of getting things done and I like to to participate and do activities with people that are highly motivated so that's how I became a Heiju and then yeah Everything happened from then. Uh, I just went to the Dresden um, 
I know meeting and I was very enthusiastic, really like what I saw there and that's how I also wanted to be a spokesperson. Okay, awesome. Good, thanks for answering all these questions, Isabella. Sure. Um, that's it, thanks. Okay, thank you.